Hi everyone! Today I am going to talk about Persian rocks. Well, all, all of us know that Persian rock is one of the most famous handmade rocks in the whole world. But unfortunately, the Persian rock has its own downside times due to the sanctions which happened to Iran. So what happened was the Chinese companies, the Chinese businesses, they came to Iran, they checked the rocks and everything, quality, and what they've done was to create their own Chinese Persian rug, which sounds crazy. So if you go and scroll on eBay or Amazon, you would simply find thousands, not thousands, but maybe hundreds of Chinese sellers who are selling Persian rug. Every art, everything in a country's history remains safe. And it does have its own secrets, how you're making it. Me, myself, my mom was making rocks when she was very young and also my grandma. So they used to own their own handmade rock workshop as well. My mom's cousins as well. I used to do Persian rock nothing. I mean, I was trying to make my own handmade Persian rock. And I stopped because I literally just made one line and then I gave up. I was saying I can't make it because it needs a lot of patience. You need to be a very patient person to create such a rock. So we're going to talk about Persian rock handmade and why silk rocks are always more expensive than the wool rocks. Um, so I've made a trip a couple of years ago to Armenia. Armenians also make it rocks and their rocks are also nice. I've checked that it looks like the nomad style Persian rocks in Iran, which is really, really nice. It's made out of wood. One of the reasons that wool carpet uh, is being used mainly, first of all, is the price. The price is not really as expensive as the silk rock and it's just like when you're walking on it for a few years, it's really thick material, it's wool, but then after a few years, it's just completely been uh, looking like silk and it goes like kind of shiny, I think. But anyway, the silk rock is one of the most famous rocks that Iran and Iranians are making. So why silk rock? Silk rock is much more stronger than wool. Not only is silk makes the rock much more stronger and durable for years and years, but also the way that they're making silk rock is much more harder. So that the silk threads are coming much more stronger so that when the maker, the rock weaver, trying to cut the silk, is really difficult to cut the silk thread with this special knife of rock making because I've been trying it myself and I know how difficult it is. Silk is more expensive so you don't want to waste by cutting a long thread of silk while you're making your rock. Make sure you search more about silk and how they even process silk. In the last few years unfortunately again due to the sanctions Silk importing and silk production in Iran has faced really, really big challenges and it made it much more difficult for rock makers and workshops to create silk rocks. However, they're still making it, they're trying their best and there is still silk rock in the market if you want to find it. One point in here, you need to know, I'm not here to make you buy silk rock, no, not at all. A lot of people like the texture of wool rock, of course. I mean, even myself, if I want to buy a rock for my house, I would go for a wool and possibly a silk wrap. Now, what is a silk wrap? Silk wrap is actually, as you can see, the whole wrap of this frame made out of silk. So your carpet's brow is going to be completely and fully in silk, which makes the rock really, really stronger. For example, in this picture, which is one of our rocks and selling in our online shop, this is coming with a silk wrap, full silk wrap. So 
The birds inside this rock is being ruled. However, they use silk for some lighter colors inside this carpet. Even knottings make the knots in these rocks make a difference. Like how? There are single knots and double knots. So usually the single knot rocks are more expensive than double knot rocks. Double knot rocks are the ones that the weavers trying to finish the job quickly and they might not have enough time so they're trying to finish one rock quickly so that they could finish another rock quickly. It's just like a kind of business and commercial style. So they're creating it with double knot. Single knot, however, is the one I was making my rock as you can see in this picture and it was really really difficult so one knot for me because I'm not a professional when I was making it it was making me 20 minutes no joking it's not 20, sec 20 minutes but I was like setting an alarm to make sure how long does it take until I finish one row of my uh, rug and uh, obviously in the end I gave up so making a very a small handmade rug takes a long time it's not a simple or quick job like this rock for example in the picture as you see it took the weaver around 13 months to make a rock like this the double knot rocks however are much faster but rest assured the rock that you're going to get is not going to look the same as the single knot rocks because the double knots are not creating that much details in a rock. For example, fast John rocks are so famous. They are usually coming as single knots. Why? Because these rocks are coming with lots and lots of details. That's why making it as a single knot rock gives that detail looking. In the recent years, the rock weavers and workshop owners created a mathematics statistic way of creating handmade rocks. So the rocks are still handmade, however, the actual map of the rocks is not the same as it used to be in the past. So in the past, people were creating maps of rock, how to make rocks, all as in like a, like a map. For example, when you want to go somewhere, they use Google Map and it gives you, you can follow the map and you can see the degrees and everything on the map to see where you're going as in GIS style, as in GIS. So for rock making, also they created styles and new ways to making handmade rocks, which would make it much easier. It's not really making the rock less valuable. The rock is as still valuable as it's still handmade. However, the way that they created these maps are slightly different. For example, some of the very, very most detailed rocks are coming with digital maps. So what are digital maps? They're creating a kind of mathematics measure measurements for the whole rock and then they give it to the weaver so the weaver knows exactly which row, which line they're going to knot so they know what colors they have to use. However, in the past, the maps were much more different and they were just creating the rock as what they were seeing in the map and you were like, you were supposed to concentrate a lot to find the exact line and the row of the rock, how to make the knots, which was making it much more you know, a lot of people in the past when they were making rock, my mom's cousin, for example, she is wearing glasses and it's just like you're using your eyes a lot because you need to concentrate a lot. All right, this was the very first video explaining a short explanation about Persian rock. If you like more videos like this, let me know in the caption below. Let me know and leave comments. I will make more videos about Persian rocks and show you different things. Thanks for watching. Bye.